This piece was purportedly written by a drow who visited and spent several years on the surface, and details certain pastoral activities of the people who live there. I am somewhat sceptical as to the authenticity of it. However, there are some aspects of it which are too eerily accurate to ignore. Its style, too, is rather unorthodox in that it comprises thoughts and feelings that the author presumably has whilst going about their day on the surface, interspersed with a repeating refrain. This refrain is the only thing at first that links these two tracks of thought, and the tone is, if anything, overly conversational rather than lyrical. However, as I'm sure you'll see, the effect is most compelling. Yea, verily confidence is preference for yon habitual voyeur of that strange phenomena that is park life. Unsavory morning soup, cold and unsightly, may be avoided aptly by taking flight through that which is known as park life. Lo, John hath the brewer's droop. He waxes vexedly about young seedy familiars, but they doth love him. Sure, tis park life. And thither comes a portly fellow, feasting on a pig's trotter, be advised, choleric fellow, thy pork life shall thy heart consume. I prithee, exercise thy heart anon. Park life. All yon people, by my troth so many people, they all doth stand hand in hand, hand in hand in their park life. Marry, gentles, dost thou comprehend? I rise when I desire, save on bright's day, when my slumber is rudely interrupted by vulgar dustmen. Park life. Anon, I pull my pantaloons around my waist, pour a cup of tea, and equivocate the wisdom of leaving the house. Park life. I feed the feathered carrion, yea, in all their many forms. Anon, I am beset with a boundless sense of well-being, park life. And thence, even unto the ending of the day, I am happy, safe in the knowledge there shall always be a sliver of my heart devoted to a life pastoral, park life. All young people, by my troth so many people, they all doth stand hand in hand, hand in hand in their park life. It minds not me which racing spider thou ridest, park life. Neither hangs the tale on joggers that trace their path most circular, park life. All yon people, by my troth so many people, they all do stand hand in hand, hand in hand in their park life. Park life. I confess, even with its obvious embellishments, there is something that the poet manages to capture about the idyllic quality of life on the surface, and of the myriad number of people who one might run into were one to venture there. People watching is, I confess, a small vice of mine, and this also does seem to be encapsulated in this piece. The idiosyncrasies of people who are being observed, but do not know it. Yet doubtless would not change any way they were acting, even if they did. The effervescent tone of the piece overall is at first cloying and sickly, and yet... In a disturbingly short amount of time, it can become appealing. I have found in my own experience this is the way with many things on the surface.